Shalom, even all glorification, honor, and praise unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, along with the bishops and elders who were ruling and teaching well. And salutations to the Bayat Shadawada, the house of David the elect. Beginning with the 144,000, the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets, on down to all those among Israel who believe the friends and helps of the prophets who will also be delivered out of this common destruction. That's what's coming to America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. Total, complete, and utter destruction. This was put up yesterday. Monday, October the 23rd, 2023, the hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. This is a Fox News. Pentagon officials say attacks on U.S. troops have Iranian fingerprints all over. See, these elites, the elites of Esau, all right, the Jewish international bankers, all right, the Mamalekites, they have plans for that region pursuant to their greater Israel project. And they want this war with Iran. Now that's going to be, you know, the last mistake that these, pe that the, uh, it's like these people make. All right, is, is, uh, is this escalation with the so-called Iranians, which is Persia, according to the Bible. But that's what they're after. And they've been after this for years. Okay. Um, and they're going to get their wish. <laughs> because it's Bible prophecy. Ezekiel chapter... Thirty-eight and verse four, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. Speaking of Gog, okay, which is Russia, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Yeah, because all these are nuclear powers. Okay, obviously Russia. Okay. And the nations that they're guarding, including Iran. All right, verse 5 says Persia. All right, again, Iran says Ethiopia and Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmet. Gomer, verse 6, and all his bands. Okay, uh, Turkey. The house of Togomar of the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. So the elites are going to get their wish, man. All right. And which is ultimately Bible prophecy. Senior Pentagon official said Monday, they expect to see a significant escalation of attacks against U S troops in the middle, in the middle East, adding the attacks have Iranian fingerprints all over them. It says, um, a senior U.S. defense official and a senior U.S. military official held a background briefing on Monday afternoon, and both officials suggested attacks will likely increase on U.S. troops over the coming days. Well, probably because, oh, I say probably, most likely because they're planning to attack their own. Okay. In other words, the IDF, Mossad, you know, most likely these are going to be inside jobs to be blamed on Iran. The defense official reiterated that Iran is funding, equipping, guiding, and directing partners and proxies across the Middle East, including Lebanese, Hezbollah, militia groups in Iran, Syria, and Yemen.
I think it's fair to say when you see this uptick in activity and attacks by many of these groups, there's Iranian fingerprints all over it, the defense official said. The senior defense official also reflected on the objectives set forth when the Department of Defense got involved. First, it was supporting Israel with expediting security assistance, then to help contain the conflict to Gaza while deterring groups from stepping onto the stage and expanding the conflict beyond Gaza. The third reason was to protect U.S. forces and personnel and focus on hostage recovery. But Iran and other forces have sought ways to escalate the conflict by targeting U.S. forces with drones and rockets. U.S. troops are in Iraq and Syria to support local partners to achieve the defeat of ISIS. That's also a creation of Amalek. Okay, says the senior defense official said. So when the efforts continue to increase, Iran is giving space for ISIS to reconstitute and destabilize the region, the official added. Of course, all this is Bible prophecy. Yahweh Shah spoke of wars and rumors of wars. So this is what we're witnessing in the earth. No war with Iran. You know, war with China. You know, war, war with Russia, which the U.S. is already in a war with Russia via their proxy, the Ukraine. Mark chapter 13 and verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars, of rumors of wars, which is all we're hearing about, it says, be ye not troubled. So this is the hopeful elect, men of the Lord doing the work. Beginning with the elder apostles, a great millstone on down. We're not, we're not troubled by these things. Okay, it says, for such things must needs be, but in shall not be it. For nation shall rise against nation, verse eight, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning, beginnings of sorrow. So that's where we are on the prophetic timeline. We're in the beginning of sorrows. Okay. Much more sorrow, you know. This this book, you know, much more sorrow is coming. This book is is full of what lamentation, mourning, and woe. What is that? Ezekiel two. This that's what this book is full of, man. Lamentation, mourning, and woe. The things contained in these scriptures, you know, much of it, it, it ain't pretty, man. All right, for for Esau. For two thirds of you Israelites, even, you know, two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the Lord's chosen people, you know, much of this, you know, is uh, written against you at this at this time, you know, and, and especially for the heathen nations. This book is full of lamentations and mourning and woe. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 10, and he spread it before me, talking about the scriptures, and it was written within and without. And there was written there in lamentations and mourning and woe. Okay? And that's what you people are getting ready to, to do. Lament. You're already mourning. You know, you're already mourning. You know, especially you, you know, you so-called Americans. You're mourning that, that your way of life is has, you know, drastically uh has drastically changed. Okay. That 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 the uh, that the you're mourning the fact that the American dream is, is is definitely turned into a nightmare, and is over. All right. Verse nine, but take heed. Mark chapter thirteen and verse nine. But take heed to your souls, for they shall deliver you up. He's talking to his disciples who would later become apostles. All right, they would be sent away to, to preach this word. Okay? It says, but take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils. And in the synagogue you shall be beaten, and you shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake for a testimony against them. So that's what's coming, you know, to the men of the Lord. You know, that's part of the straight gate that we have to walk through. All right, persecution. 
Okay, it says, and the gospel must first be published among all nations. And that's what's happened. All right, this gospel, the gospel of what? The gospel of the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai has gone throughout the four corners of the earth. That's why the end has come, man. Because we at the end right now. All right. So, again, more war talk. All right, more wars and rumors of wars. So it's time, you know, for you Israelites to repent and, you know, turn back to the Lord. This is uh, the book of Zechariah. Uh, chapter 1 and verse 3 it says therefore say thou unto them thus saith the Lord Yahweh say, say unto who alright the children of Israel alright because that's who repentance is for okay only for the Israelites therefore say thou unto them thus saith the Lord Yahweh turn ye unto me Saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and I will turn unto you. Saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. Be ye not as your fathers, verse 4, unto whom the former prophets have cried. Saying, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, turn ye now from your evil ways. All right. In other words, repent. You know, put down your idols, come back. To the shepherd bishop of your souls, man. Come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And from your evil doings, but they did not hear nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. And that's just it. Two thirds of our people aren't going to hearken. They're not going to listen to the prophets. And ultimately, you know, the two thirds are going to be destroyed during the time of Jacob's trouble. And again, we only in the beginning stages of it. So, you know, repent the kingdom of heaven's at hand. Lord willing, you was edified. With that, I want to say, Shalom.